Well, hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the Friday night edition of the RFES Bedtime Story. It's Mr. Holden here. I have a question. Did you have a really good Friday? Um, did you enjoy your day off? We teachers didn't have a day off, of course. We were working very hard. But you know what? That makes the Friday night bedtime story extra special, doesn't it now? Because it's a chance to really wind down after a great week. Did you have a great week of remote learning? I had a lot of fun teaching you guys. I have to say that. Uh, and I'm looking forward to next week. But we've got a weekend ahead of us. I hope you have lots of fun fall things planned. Did you know that the temperature tomorrow morning is going to be 39 degrees at 7 o'clock? Mr. Holden's going to throw on his sweater and his jacket, bring my gloves. And that dog over there is going to be very excited because we will go on the NCR trail and then might, we might come back and warm up with some hot apple cider. I do love the fall. And you know what? Whether it's fall, winter, spring, or summer, we always need a chance to get away now and then, don't we? Whether you're a student, a parent, or a teacher, it's nice to get a little place to get away. And even Streganona, who was, by the way, the main character in last night's RFES bedtime story, if you remember, Streganona's Harvest. Well, this was all written by Tommy DePaula. It's a series with the same characters, with Streganona and Big Anthony uh, and some of the other characters that show up. And the original Streganona is pretty awesome. But I like the other ones in the series just as well. And that's why I'm sharing with you this one tonight, Streganona takes a vacation, written by the legendary Tommy DePaula. Stregonona was having un sogno, a dream. She was a little girl again in her grandma Conceda's house at the seashore. What a wonderful time they were having. Picking seashells on the beach, picking flowers, wading in the water, learning to swim. So much of fun. And all of those things happened when she was a little girl and now in her dream. Viene, Nona Lina! Viene! Grandma Conceda called. Come, Nona, Nona Lina! Strega Nona woke up. She was in her house. She was up on the hill above the little village in Calabria. All day long. Stragonona would help the villagers with their headaches, with their toothaches, and with all of their other worries. And as she did, she kept hearing Grandma Conceda's voice from the dream. Here she is helping all of the people. She had a lot of people to help, didn't she? Some of the villagers said to each other, It looks like Stragonona just might need a vacation. Big Anthony! Bambalona said. Stregonona has had something on her mind. I know, Big Anthony said. She almost gave Mr. Mayor the wrong medicine for his headache. That is the first time that has ever happened. Stregonona looked out of her window. She was sure that she had heard Grandma Conceda calling to her. How can that be? Stregonona thought to herself. Grandma Conceda has been away for many, many years. I wish I knew what my dream meant, she thought as she looked out the window. That very night, Streganona got her answer. In another dream, she was sitting just outside their house on the hill. Next to her was Grandma Conceda. Dear Nona, she said, you have been working hard all these years. You must take una vacanza, which is a vacation. Bambalona can do the daily remedies. Big Anthony can do all the chores, feeding the animals, milking the goat, and looking after the house and garden. My little seashore house is empty now and is waiting for you. Come, Nona, come. Streganona woke up. Andro, she said, I'll go. And she fell back asleep with a big smile on her face. The next morning, she asked Big Anthony and Bambalona to come inside. Sit down, my children. I have some news. I am going to take una vacanza at Grandma Conceda's little house by the seashore. Oh, said Bambalona. When will you go? Oh, the day after tomorrow, Streganona said. When will you come back? Big Anthony asked. 
I will let you know, Stregonona said. I will send you a message. Arrivederci, my children, Stregonona said. You'll be fine, Mambalona. If you have any questions about which spells to use, look in the big book. If there are any unusual cases, just go over the mountain and ask my friend Strega Amelia to help you. And Stregalona, Streganona gave Bambolona un bacio, a kiss. Now, Big Anthony, I know you will be a good boy and not to get into any trouble. Just do everything you usually do. Help Bambolona if she asks. And remember... And both Bambolona and Big Anthony said, Don't touch the pasta pot. They all laughed, remembering the day that Big Anthony had flooded the village with pasta. Stregagnona gave Big Anthony un basio too. Ah, there it was, the little house by the seashore. She crawled into bed. She looked out the window. She collected her shells. And she even got a chance to see the water. And a chance to swim. She fished and collected shells. And she cooked and she cooked. And she sat and she watched and she slept. The day that the presents arrived, Big Ant said that he was outside feeding the goat. But Bambalona couldn't wait. She opened the presents that came from the beach and found seashore candy for Big Anthony and a bubble bath for her. I want the candy, Bambalona thought. Quickly, she switched the tags. Big Anthony opened his present. Bambalona, what is bubble bath? Uh, you put it in the bath water and it makes lots of bubbles. It's very nice, Bambalona said, chewing on her candy. So, Big Anthony put the bubbles in. And he put more bubbles in. And he put more bubbles in. And all of a sudden, this happened. And this. And then this. And then this. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? The mayor shouted. No, non cora. Not again. Well, guys. At least it's not pasta this time, Big Anthony shouted as the bubbles made him sail by all of them. At the seashore, a dove flew in with a message for Stregonona. Bambalona, Stregonona said to herself, what have you done now? Well, Stregonona, the mayor announced, at least the village will be molto pulito, very clean. No real harm done. Except when the wrong present gets into the wrong hands, Stregonona said. I hope you have learned your lesson, Bambalona. Me dispiace, Stregonona. I'm sorry, Bambalona said. Me too, said Big Anthony. But Stregonona, this means you'll never be able to take a vacation, the mayor said. Ah, certo, Stregonona answered. Oh, yes, I will. Next time, I'll just have to take Bambalona and Big Anthony are with me. And that's the story. Stregonona takes a vacation. You see why she never took a vacation? I mean, in the first story, Stregonona, Big Anthony messes up the spell and floods the town with pasta when she went to visit her friend's friend over the hill. This time... The bubble bath floods the town. No wonder she doesn't go on vacation. I think it's safer that she takes those two with her the next time she goes. Well, I hope you really enjoyed your Friday, and I hope you had a chance to rest a little bit. Take a little bit of a breather. Do some non-screen activities. Have some fun. Don't forget tomorrow, Saturday night edition of the RFES Bedtime Story. That'll be coming up, so you can look forward to that. Um, so I'm looking forward to bringing that to you all weekend long, as a matter of fact. We'll also have one on Sunday. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. And of course, seeing you back for more awesome remote learning on Monday. Most of all, I hope you have a really good night's sleep. We'll see you tomorrow night.